the slippery slope. This logical fallacy occurs when a person arguments that an event will eventually occur because another event has occurred or will occur. If we allow the government to raise taxes, they will never stop raising taxes, and soon nobody will be able to afford taxes. The reason why it's a logical fallacy is because no argument for the intervening steps is given. Simply stated, event X has occurred, or might or will occur, therefore event Y will inevitably happen. Without any arguments given for the steps in between, this is simply a slippery slope. When segregation ended in around 1964, argument was made. Now that whites can marry blacks, who knows what will be next? Soon, anybody will be able to marry anybody else or anything else. A similar argument is made today. If we allow homosexuals to marry, next thing you know, people will want to marry their brothers, sisters, cousins, or children, or pets, or rocks. Now, who knows? This might be true. That might be the end result. But there's no argument being given for the intermediate steps. That is why it is a logical fallacy. We cannot accurately predict the future based upon an occurrence today. Without any argument given, this remains a slippery slope fallacy. In the past, the government has been slow or reluctant to relinquish control of a new power that the people grant the government. Thus, we should exercise caution when giving the government new powers. Is this a reasonable argument, or does it commit the slippery slope fallacy? Put your answer in the comments below. An interesting note about slippery slope fallacies is they do not automatically negate the conclusion of the argument. Because we are basing things on a future contingent, there is no certainty to know whether or not the conclusion is in fact a valid conclusion. If we went back in time to where somebody somewhere made an argument that because segregation now allows blacks to marry whites, and next thing you know, homosexuals be, will be allowed to marry, and then flash forward to the present day, the validation of the argument would appear to be true. But no argument was given to connect these two events together. Although the conclusion is valid, the argument is still invalid. An interesting note of the philosophy that happens within debates. Sometimes your conclusion can be valid even though you have a logical fallacy during your argument. However, it is important to note that we should not make decisions based on fallacious arguments. Again, because we cannot accurately predict the future and we have been given no arguments for the intermittent steps, we cannot reasonably conclude that the conclusion is a valid conclusion without a time machine, which we just don't have. Think hard next time you encounter this sort of argumentation. And before you go saying that something is a slippery slope, double check to make sure that it is. Now that you've watched this one video of mine, you have to watch all the other ones. And you'll be wasting all of your time watching all of my videos from now on!